Pokemon meme review. Leave your entries in the subreddit, Pokefans. Now watch the mission in the next episode, Aspid Pie. Greetings, Boogie fans! Michael here, and welcome to the newest episode of As Pit of Pie. At some point in the past, I asked you my series where I react to submissions on my subreddit, r slash MNGTV, and since most of those submissions are memes, the alternate name for this series is Pokemon <laughs> Meme Review. The new 2023 format of this video is going swimmingly, I might say. The first half of this will be the most upvoted posts on the subreddit, and the second half will be posts from a curated PowerPoint presentation, regardless of how many upvotes they got. So don't forget to subscribe, because we're getting real close to two million, but I don't know if we're gonna be at two million when this is posted, but if you haven't subscribed, I'd really appreciate it. Top in the past month, no one is safe. What disturbing cute demons. Even got a shiny Steelix, my goodness. My five-year-old son charging into my room at 3.30 a.m. to ask if he's old enough to join Team Sky. I don't need sleep, I need answers. <laughs> of course you are! Well, I did mention that thing about the child labor laws. I guess you can if I don't pay you. No, that doesn't work either. You could just hang out with us and not do any work. There we go. Five-year-olds are welcome in Team Sky as long as they don't do anything that would legally uh, classify labor. Go Team Sky! I thought this was an interesting variation to the popular meme format. I gotta be honest, I don't recognize the meme format. Ash and Serena's daughter, Ash and Dawn's daughter, Ash and Lana's daughter, Ash and Serena's daughter, Ash and Misty's daughter, a completely new character. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what. What is her name? Lena? The new anime protagonist alongside Roy. It's, it starts with an L. Ah, it's Liko. You can see why I didn't remember it. Oh, look at that, there she is. Gen 9 anime team prediction. How do we tell him? Oh, oh yeah, Jesse and James. I don't think they're coming back, y'all. <laughs> Wait, Coco allegedly breaking the fire zodiac theory? No. Skeletor's literally being the first ever quadrupedal fire starter. Ah. I guess I didn't register that. Like Typhlosion, it'll, it'll get down there, but not normally. Quadrupedal fully evolved, we should specify, because Tepig and Litten, you know. Anyone who subscribes to this channel gets two inches added to their height. My six foot trans fam ass. The hardest choices require the strongest of whales. Oh, oh well. I should have specified at the time that that is only if you wish for it. You don't wish for it. Please don't unsubscribe. I'm a dumb looking dinosaur Suicune. I'm literally just a robot Verizian. I'm a badass combination from all three members, so am I. Yeah, I was shocked that it wasn't. So first off, I do think Iron Leaves, or as I named it in one of my shorts, uh, Laser Ruff. It is just a robot of the original Pokemon, as are most of the uh, Violet Paradox forms, which is why the Scarlet ones are better. Walking Wake, slash my name for it, Basilux. Honestly, I think it's kind of cool. It wasn't what I was expecting. It doesn't make any sense with the lore, considering that OO supposedly created Suicune from the Burning Tower, but I kind of like it. But yeah, I do think the drawings are better. However, I've seen people theorize that it's like, oh, we're getting these now, and then we'll get Paradox, Entei, and Terrakian in one of the DLC and then Paradox Raikou and Cobalion in the other, or something like that. So we might get Paradox forms of all three, as opposed to just one amalgamation, and that would be sick. Fly is 95% accurate, which means it has a 5% chance to miss. How would it feel in ending up in a random location 5% of the time after using Fly? <laughs> oh, oh, the accuracy in regards to like getting somewhere. That's kind of funny. What if there was a location in the games that you could only get to if Fly missed? Are you serious? <laughs> The intentional misspelling of my name, the drowsy, there's even the AI dr- Ugh, I like, I can't be mad though because this is honestly fantastic. <laughs> I am aware of the effect I have on women. Well, all right, 30 day free trial. Enter your credit card info. <laughs> yep, that's, that's how they get you. Just gotta set a reminder in your calendar when you set up the trial. Uh, don't tell YouTube, but I got a free trial of YouTube TV just to watch the Super Bowl. <laughs> what kids started playing Pokemon on, what boys started playing Pokemon on, what men started playing Pokemon on. And then if you started playing Pokemon on like the original Game Boy, you're just a relic. You're, you're just, you're just in, just bones. This is the genderless past paradox of a legendary Pokemon, right? Yep. Legendary in question is Suicune, of which there can only be one since it was a Pokemon revived by Ho-Oh, right? Yep. So it's not a normal Pokemon and therefore can't have an ancestor from which it evolved, right? That makes sense to me. And this is proof that all paradoxes aren't the actual ancestors of today's Pokemon, but something else. But how did Walking Wake become the Suicune we know today if it's its direct ancestor? Oh, they're not ancestors. But from an alternate universe? Alternate timeline? 
I would really like this to be elaborated upon because I'm genuinely curious as to how it makes sense. Maybe we'll find out in the DLC. Clouds of day, stars of night. Life is not simply black or white. Like clear skies and rolling thunder, the thrill of each can't exist without the presence of another. What you're looking at, fish face, shut your trap, you stupid landlocked lizard. <laughs> You know, you don't have to use your starter for the entire main playthrough of the game. Me. It's the law! <laughs> oh my gosh, I want to talk about this. So a little while ago, the official Pokemon account tweeted this TikTok that they made. Rate this team. And the team they're showing is the Twitch Plays Pokemon team that beat the league nine years ago, which is insane. And it is crazy to me that they acknowledged this. They're acknowledging Twitch Plays Pokemon without openly acknowledging it because they don't say, rate this Twitch Plays Pokemon team. Like this is the team on the anniversary. They're acknowledging it, but they're only acknowledging it if you already knew what it was. So they somehow got permission. The social media team got permission to acknowledge something that required a ROM. The original Twitch Plays Pokemon, that used a ROM. It was blatantly obvious that it did. And they acknowledged it, which is crazy. But then you scroll down to the replies and there's a bunch of people who like aren't acknowledge it. Look, it's the Twitch Plays Pokemon team, not Twitch Plays Pokemon. Seeing this officially recognizes wild, that is Walmart Canada Gaming. You sidelined your starter. Walmart Canada Gaming. You clearly don't know what Twitch Plays Pokemon is. <laughs> A C plus for me, I love the irregular type choices, but the type overlap is killing me. Like half of these are acknowledging it and half of these are like, this team is weirdly unbalanced and where's your starter? It's just, it's just a crazy situation all around. What if it was metal? Yep. Although they did make it have laser swords. To improve Gita's team, we should take this, put it at the front and give it Stealth Rock. Yeah. I get not doing it for the first battle. I kind of wish they had done that for the final battle. Like in the Academy Ace tournament, you know, it's a post-game battle, make it trickier. Mikey's face after he sees another drowsy meme. <laughs> Frankly accurate. Oh, three consecutive fire fightings. Maybe three consecutive fire ghosts. I'm beginning to see a pattern here that I'm not so sure I like. We'll see. I mean, on the bright side, the fire ghost starters are pretty cool, you know? Whereas like the firefighting ones just progressively get worse. I don't know. I think it's fine. I tried to kill a baby. I destroyed all planets. I went through all the caves and all the Pokemon with no repels. <gasps> Thank you, devil. Trade offer we received. Mikey taking back all bad things he said about Miltank. Mikey receives us no longer memeing the drowsy thing. Do you accept? Never. I will never be nice to Miltank. I can tolerate the drowsy memes. I'm doing fine. Evil teams then. A rich and successful businessman. People who want to transform the earth. A dude who wants to use the creation trail to literally change the universe and a literal king. Evil teams now. Cheerleaders, some high school dropouts and people who got bullied. Okay. I will not stand for the team star slander. Are they truly evil? No, but is the story incredibly heartwarming about outcasts finding community with each other? Yes, yes it is. No team star slander. Half the community right now. Suicune can't have a past paradox form. It doesn't fit the lore. Walking Wake exists in the past. Walking Wake, like the other past paradox forms, devolves changes over time into an unknown relatively modern Pokemon. Said unknown Pokemon dies in the brass now burns tower 150-ish years ago along with two others. Oh, oh, revives those three Pokemon. This revival and possible power boost brings Walking Wake's descendant closer to its ancestor's appearance. Therefore, the modern day Suicune closely resembles Walking Wake while still working with the existing lore. I see, that's the theory. I think that's a pretty pretty solid theory. The Pokemon that died in the tower were uh, was a descendant of Walking Wake. It was a rare Pokemon maybe, as opposed to just like being a Vaporeon. Small of garden. <laughs> anyway, it's been nice talking to you guys again. Uh, there's a Sceptile wearing my hat. So is that supposed to be me? And is the is the Mamoswine supposed to be PM7? Cause the Sandy Ghast is making me suspicious. Yeah, take care. See you around, buddy. You don't know who that was, do you? Not a clue. Yes, a meme about John not remembering what Sandy Ghast was. Here you are, sir. Oh, what's this? Finky Berry Sunday, courtesy of the Pokemon at the bar. Oh, come on. <laughs> Call me. It, this was going so well. I gotta be kidding me. Oh, it's still going. Mikey, look who I found. They just kind of come over to me. <laughs> Are you gonna eat that? <laughs> Subscribe to MNJTV and PM. This was excellent. I love this. And MNJTV plays. PM7. Of course, obviously. MNJTV, this channel. Getting really close to 2 million if we're not already there by the time this goes up. And MNJTV plays. I really want MJTV plays to get a million by the end of the year. Meow Skareda, Quaquavel, Skeleturge having great signature moves. Yeah, I like that they're giving starters signature moves consistently. Like, I mean, they've been doing that for a while, but I think it's good. Only good starter, new second favorite Pokemon, me who's worried about type overlap. That was me. <laughs> that was uh, that was me except swap Cerulege for Armor Rouge. <laughs> it's not my new second favorite Pokemon, but I'm. it's my favorite Gen 9 Pokemon. Boy, another robot. 
It turns Suicune into a Velociraptor. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. Violet sold more copies, but Scarlet's winning with all the, the Paradox forms. I actually had a conversation with a friend recently. A friend who like isn't that into Pokemon. Like he played it a lot more when he was young and then didn't really play it for a while, but he got Violet. And I was talking with him and I was like, I can't figure out why Violet's more popular than Scarlet. Because in my opinion, basically I like everything in Scarlet better. All the Paradox forms, the, the box legendary I like more, the professor. And his theory was that Violet sold more just because of the name and the color associated with it. To someone who's really casual, Scarlet is very close to red. Like Scarlet, for a lot of people, it's just another name for red. And then it's also like kind of close to the colors of Ruby. And Shield was also primarily a red colored game. Whereas Violet, there haven't been any purple Pokemon games. There's never been a Pokemon purple. Pokemon Violet is the first one that that color is not associated with one of the colors that already exists. So his theory is that it could have sold more because it just feels newer to someone who's very casual. And I thought that was a pretty good theory. How recently did you start watching Mikey? His only channel mascot is Mighty and his favorite Pokemon is Drowsy. <sighs> to be clear, I never really had an official mascot though before Mighty. Like Mighty, my mascot. But before that, it was just like, here's some Pokemon I like a lot. The mascot was a cartoon me. <laughs> As for Drowsy, huh? Hello, I'm here to talk to you about conflict resolution. Wait, Coco will assist. Let's pretend you can't bite. How could you resolve a conflict without biting? Foy Coco, no. <laughs> I think I forgot something. Well, if you forgot, then it wasn't that important. Yeah, you're right. Espeon. <laughs> How many evolutions are there? Three originals, the two from Johto, the two from Sinnoh, and Sylveon. There were two left out. I don't remember her team, but Espeon and another one had to be left out. Can we take a minute to appreciate the Pokemon smile sprites? We certainly can. All right, the moment's over. You and how are both trial goers, aren't you? I suppose you must be around 11 then. Ash completed the trial, which means he turned 11 when he got to Alola. Kind of funny that this is brought up. My first Pokemon video to ever be successful was how old is Ash Ketchum? Are you two crocodiles? Yep. So you can swim. Yep. So you have to go in the water. Makes sense to me. Then swim. No water is scary. <laughs> They also have elemental superpowers, all right? It's not the same thing. Pokemon fans, I don't like the Sinnoh remakes, and why did you ask for them? Because <laughs> I've said it before, I'll say it again. They made bad remasters, they didn't make remakes. Ooh, are these custom starters? The grass one is deeply disturbing. I think the fire one's my favorite. It breaks the traditional mold of what a fairy type is, either being cute, am I a joke to you? Mimikyu is cute. It's horribly terrifying under the cloth, but in its current appearance, it's cute. Look at those little eyes. A Legends Gen 5 game, Pokemon fans. Angry European noises. Oh, is it because America older was the colonizers? Watch we just get a American Revolution Pokemon game. I mean, it's just terribly violent. This is a shiny. We have seven, this is the seventh week in a row you've shown a shiny to the class. It is. Although he didn't get one. Wait, did he? I can't even remember. I was gonna say, he didn't get one in the last one that I posted, and now I can't remember. Yeah, I think he might have actually. Can't defeat me. I know, but he can. <laughs> Torch Sung with all kinds of boosting items. Some Pokemon you should only use one type of ball for. Oh, the Master Ball on Rattata. That's funny. Pokemon Direct in a nutshell. Pokemon TCG Classic. A new Netflix show. Scarlet and Violet DLC. Pokemon Cafe Remix. Step Striker returning! My zebra! I think data miners figured out which Pokemon will be in the DLC, and there are still some Pokemon who won't be on the Switch. <laughs> but Zeb Striker's making it, so I'm happy. Ideally with an evolution, maybe, right? No, no, that's not gonna happen. Zerua, floor, what the F happened to the Zerua? <laughs> I sleep, I wake, you run. I hated this thing. <laughs> it was not cute. It was only upsetting. CGI peak? No, that wasn't CGI. It was it was an animatronic. Ooh, grunty boy art. That's so cool. I'm honored. And and so is he. Steel type, steel type. <laughs> Everyone asks who's that Pokemon, never housed that Pokemon. They're fine. Hydro Steam should have a chance to burn. I don't know if I agree with that. I, I, don't, I don't know. They got rid of Scald for a reason. I feel like Walking Wake is already gonna be really good. What is this? True MNJ TV fans? Average Team Sky fan is just yelling in the Grunty Boy Enjoyer. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, now it's time for the PowerPoint. Mikey, when he stops seeing good memes, that's it, I'm getting me PowerPoint. <laughs> Technically Google Slides. <laughs> Before Katie slideshows, in terms of memes, we have no good ones. <laughs> and after Katie slideshows, in terms of memes, we have good ones. <laughs>
Why did he rate? Just sent us to the PowerPoint. <laughs> Here we are. The face of disappointment when you don't subscribe to M&J TV. Face when you do subscribe to M&J TV. Me when Katie makes the post PowerPoint. Hold up. Let her cook. Yo, this is the thick slideshow. Get ready. <laughs> I have the ground. Water. Yeah. <laughs> The last one doesn't even mention sky. Oh, it's just because I'm in the sky. I see. <laughs> Cursive Mikey. Okay, I gotta tell you guys, after the last one, both my mom and my brother, independently from each other, told me that they thought the meme about me not being good at reading cursive was hysterical because that's kind of been a thing for most of my life. <laughs> and here it is again. <laughs> Very own battle studies teacher, the hot Miss Dendra. Fair. Everybody's simping for Rika, Riku. But I am a, I am a Miss Dendra enjoyer, personally. Oh my God. Strap in, we got the video slash multiple picture slide. How long is it gonna take me to get through this? <laughs> Some of my favorite Pokemon drawn, please enjoy. Oh, well those are lovely. Keep up the great work with your art. Gen five sprites for the gen four beta Pokemon. Oh God, Probo Pass. <laughs> I, I didn't remember that beta. Oh, I do remember this one. The the Garchomp ones are really good. Ooh, that one's sick. Whoa, I, I don't know if I've seen that beta hip out on. My goodness. That thing is cute and I want one. Set your level 26 HM slave so you can revive another Pokemon. It's just... Uh... He gonna die. Ooh, regional variants of some Pokemon. Cool. Ooh, Fireground Torterra. That'll never happen, but it'd be cool. Oh, wait, is that Mega Camera Ups? Is that Mega Camera Ups back? <laughs> oh, a Ghost Quagsire. I, oh, a, a gun. Okay. <laughs> a Birthday Cake Dwebble. And a... What Pokemon is this? Is this just a new Pokemon? It's kind of cute. Oh, a Clay Clawed Sire. That's lovely. Meet Mewty, the terrain Pokemon. This ground normal type changes its form and type. This is the AI Pokemon from the AI video where I was, I just put like subscribe to Image HV plays and it created this and it was like actually kind of cute. Oh, it changes forms. Oh, I see. It's changing forms like Mighty does. That's funny. I like it. I made a little comic about me and the glorious leader of Team Sky. So you want to join Team Sky? Yes. You have any Pokemon that can fly or float? Yes, I do. Huh? Oh my. You're in. <laughs> that was lovely. I had like the reaction in real life and then the comic me did too. <laughs> Some old art I made of Mikey's Gen 9 fake mon. <gasps> flap flap. I'm having trouble remembering their names. I'm gonna be real, but I like this one. Making it a cape rather than a tablecloth. Ooh, that looks really good. So does that. And that's adorable. I made a little pixel art animation. Oh, there it goes. That was, that was great. It was, it was shorter than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Guys, I think we just discovered the real MJ TV. By using Google and filtering by date, you'll find dust. Wait, what the? F wait, whoa, whoa, wait, can you spot what's wrong here? Hold on. So he, he went to January 2011 to January 2013. Why? It says Pokemon randomizer m and j tv but the picture that that's a picture of me <laughs> he tweeted about why? this and i that's saw a picture it of me when i was recording i think ultra sun and moon why am i m and j tv how did this happen am i m and j tv greetings poke fans michael here oh okay <laughs> is that me okay <laughs> Yeah, I, I saw a tweet about that a little while ago. It, it, I was like, it reminds me of when they made, uh, when for a while Google was like, it's not dragon type, it's Salamence type. Today is my birthday. Well, I'm a week late. I'm sorry. Happy belated. Some mighty fan art. Aw, of all the other all forms. Aw, that's so cute. New content on Grunty Boy's only fan page. <laughs> oh, goodness. No, no, uh, that was from last year. <laughs> Ooh, that's some cool neon art. Animated a video on the JMC every time John gets a shiny. When I win this season of the John Michael Cup because it's back at season two, it's gonna be better than ever. <laughs> It'll take you directly to the habitat page. You shiny. That's a shiny Scyther! <laughs> oh, this Come is so on. good! 
Wait a minute. And I have a shiny scissor looking at it. Spider-Man meme. <laughs> One that enjoys routine. Shiny Psyduck. Shiny Psyduck. Stupid. When you zone PM7, <laughs> you find more shinies. And of course, when you are PM7, you get more shinies. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? I found another shiny. Oh, what? What, John? It's a shiny. Whoop. What? I didn't really have much of a reaction because it barely looks shiny. Boom, I got over. Shiny to start the video. <laughs> Why does this keep yeah. happening? Why is this keep happening? Yeah. Oh my God, this is fantastic. Oh my God. The draw, like, I mean, the moments are great and so funny, but like the, the draw, oh, that was, this is like one of my favorite things I've ever seen on meme review. That was, I, I'm, I'm sending this to John. Oh gosh, that was fantastic. I loved that. The faces are just, oh, so good. Quick comic about Team Sky. You can't use that, it doesn't fly. Mighty Anna, it's flying. Are you happy now? <laughs> I really wish Mighty Anna was in Scarlet and Violet so I could terastalize it. Oh my gosh, that's me. I'm going to evaluate what you can contribute as my Elite Four. Oh! oh <laughs> Please step forward. You'll be perfect for bringing in tourists. You'll be perfect for bringing in tourists. <laughs> there were other things. <laughs> You'll be perfect for bringing in tourists. <laughs> Okay, I there are other things. I'll put you in reserve. <laughs> You'll be perfect for me. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are you guys are amazing. Gen 5 sprites for the new Paradox Pokemon. Oh, those look so good. You are so talented. All right, back to the slideshow. Studying for AP World and thought of this, the Gunpowder Empire after finding out that fireworks can also be used to blow people up and consolidate their power. People describe me as incredibly talented. Oh, this was on r slash history memes. I think there was another time a picture of me ended up on there. I think from this same video. The Shiny Gods, Mikey, why is John getting more shinies than me? Okay. <laughs> I'm a Greek tragedy. Yeah. All right. I'm like Macbeth. <laughs> Team Sky. Wonderful. Ooh, Storm the Eroder. Ooh, the Pelipper I used in the first Team Sky. That's awesome. More Team Sky fan art. I like the little jetpack shoes. <laughs> Even more Team Sky. You guys, all the Team Sky fan art makes me so happy. I am working on Team Sky in Scarlet and Violet. Doing something different for it. Uh, it'll, it'll still be a while. I'm going to be traveling this month, so I'll be recording it in April. So I'm hoping end of April, early May is when it will be up. It will happen. I appreciate your patience. I feel confident it's going to be the best one I've made so far, but it is taking more time as a result. Say hello to my little friend, Skydios. Man, I I love all this. Just this this makes me so happy. Ooh, a Sky Armor Reshiram. That's sick. And a little Sky Eevee. Wow, there's so much of it. I didn't realize there was so much of it. This is This is so great. It is kind of funny looking at the Team Sky fan art and seeing which ones do I have a beard? <laughs> this is this is awesome. Look, there's a beard one, a beard one. I also like it, that, like some of them make me more menacing and other ones are just like, hello. <laughs> Go Team Sky! Oh, this is this is awesome. Corporate needs you to find the difference between this picture and this picture. They're the same picture, standing as to nothing. Yes! My encouragement of the memes is working! Places John's never been to. <laughs> Oh, yes! All right, if I, if I have to deal with the drowsy meme, John has to deal with the meme of not remembering what Sandy Gast was. Is he seeing these memes though? Are people tweeting these memes at him? People tweet the drowsy memes at me all the time. I feel like people need to be tweeting these memes at him because I don't know if he watches this series. <laughs> I don't think he does. I feel like, oh, I, I, I hang out with you all the time. Why would I watch your videos? Because I don't know, John, we're friends and I want you to see the memes that make fun of you. <laughs> Why is Cass form in Illinois? Illinois, I mean, multiple states have that reputation. Texas has that reputation too. That said, let's get into the video. <laughs> it is I grunt him, boy. He's great. Gengar's being overwhelmed by fatigue, <gasps> but it's managing to tough it out and stay awake. <gasps> adulthood, oh, <laughs> adulthood, I see. Oh, it's a very cute cast form fan art. They're so happy. Ooh, Fakemon, a dust bunny Pokemon, that's cute. Iron imposter. <laughs> Is that just, oh, it's a shroomish that they've just made among us. <laughs> Furious Storm, ooh. A past Paradox cast form would not make sense, but maybe it does actually. You know, they made Walking Wake, might as well make a past cast form, past form. Ooh, Volbrant, that's pretty sick. Please 
Give me a Zeb Striker evolution. 545, that's awesome. My Legends Arcus team! I love it, thank you! Welcome back to another episode of the J My Cardinal Cup. <laughs> Today we'll be catching Pokemon based on Dex entries. <laughs> yes! I, I love the memes that represent, like, that mention very specific moments. <laughs> Find Groudon. Oh God, this is difficult. Mikey getting a shiny before John. It's been three thousand years. Yes, I know. I'm not sure if it really counts because it was in. Uh, it was before we started recording. But then I did get one before him in the two truths one lie video on his channel. It wasn't in Scarlet and Violet. It was in a different game. So I don't know if that counts. I have yet to get a shiny before him in a video in Scarlet and Violet. That was after the like recording of the challenge started. I'm still trying for that. Here is New Vema Town in Minecraft. Oh, oh, those starting towns with very little in them. Or it needs you to find the difference. <laughs> I've never seen that string cheese mascot. They do look alike. John Flubbernutter Michael. Michael calling John a Flubbernutter. <laughs> if Mikey was a past Paradox Pokemon. Hmm, protosynthesis. Oh, I see. No one, literally no one. Me, why is Sandy Gas so speedy? Because it's a sand. That's quick. <laughs> oh, that, yeah, that's from my video where I made up a new move for every type or I made up a bunch of ones. I made up like a priority move for every type that didn't already have one. And the ground one was quicksand. Ooh, that's a really cool keyboard. What's nine plus 10? Is it beans? <laughs> I was feeling random when I wrote that. Oh, hey, there's that fire snake from earlier in the video that I like. I was finishing up my lunch when I saw this bird try and melt into the ground and then stare at me like I was wrong for judging. Corvinite, are you okay? Found in a Pragmagique video. I'm unfamiliar with that creator, but it seems they've referenced Legends Akus either on purpose or not on purpose. Oh, the formatting is weird on this one. Literally all Poketubers, like and subscribe. <laughs> I care more about the subscribing. How I imagine Team Star started. I need your help. I can't tell you what it is. You can never ask me about it later. And we're gonna hurt some people. Whose star mobile are we gonna take? <laughs> when the peanut butter sandwich hits just right. I haven't seen this meme format in many moons. Flour, eggs, milk. What am I missing? Evil recipe. Execute fell off the table. Butter. It was gonna be a joke, but the joke fell through and I don't know where this went. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, there's Pokemon talk, Torchic and Bulbasaur in the back. Oh, Butterfree, duh. <laughs> Handing me free butter. <laughs> Air Bud! <gasps> Mighty Anna in Team Sky Armor. That looks awesome. Does Golbat close their mouth like this or this? I think it's closer to the right one. I think we actually see, or is it? Hold on, I need to do some investigative journalism. Okay, I didn't find the exact frame that I wanted, but there are pictures of Golbat with its mouth closed in the 3D games, the old ones, I should say. So it does close its mouth in that way. Although we do need to acknowledge that Crobat in Stadium is very hideous. Like, why did why did they give it those human teeth? Oh! Ew! So in summation, it's the left one. Took everything from me. I don't even know who you are. <laughs> hey, Mikey. Say drowsy again. Say drowsy again. <laughs> all right. All right. Drowsy memes, Mikey. Yeah, no, it's it's fine. It's fine. I, I'm confident in myself enough to not let these wear away at my sanity. Quickly. How the shipping meme feels right now. Mikey's fans, Katie, John. John's fans, John's editor, me. I'm just running and drowsy's just like, what's going on? <laughs> Oh, mighty meeting Kirby. Oh, that's really cute. Kirby's teaching him the inhale. Oh, golden go, golden went, golden gone. Oh no, <laughs> more mighty fan art. Oh, show me the real mighty Mikey mascot. I said the real Mikey mascot, perfection. Yep, my, the new weird AI thing. <laughs> you took it, okay, here it is. <laughs> You took everything from me. I don't even know who you are. <laughs> I fear no man. Yeah, we need to move on from this. Uh, would rather forget that. Oh, there it is again. Katie putting drowsy in the AI generator. <laughs> <sighs> I'm MNJTV's mascot. No, I am. Amateurs. What was that punk? Amateurs. There you go. <laughs> the fungus goldfish thing. You should subscribe to MNJTV Plays though. I guess that's its name. <laughs> oh, a Lego Vanillite. That's cool. Girl, why not? I shouldn't die. <laughs> I mean, I finished the video, but I know for a fact that John is gonna find more shinies than I've had in my history of playing Pokemon. A foolish miscalculation. 
I actually, so I, I won that video, spoilers, but I don't know who found more shinies throughout the entire video. I know John finds the first one, but I didn't count the total number. The total number didn't matter for who won. It's just whoever caught the last one, which was me. Kinda cool. Toad's cooler. <laughs> sure. Every shiny in existence, PM7. He's the shiny guy. I just get him sometimes. Less, usually. When a John Michael Cup video ends without John catching a shiny. Impossible. It has happened. It has happened. He is not invincible. Aw, your aunt is very talented. Mikey walked up to a PM7 stand and he said to the man running the stand, hey, got any shinies? Ice fresh shinies. <laughs> uh, uh, Mikey when reading, Mikey Mouse when cursive. I see, I see it was intentional. Team Sky Mikey flying type Pokemon, Team Sky Mikey. Flying Pokemon. I mean, if it can fly, if it can live in the sky, it's fine. Show me Mikey's true rival, not PM7, not Drowsy, Kabuto. Indeed. Well, should be a shiny Kabuto. Well, actually, I did encounter a lot more regular ones. Long story short, years ago, shiny hunted in Let's Go, tried to get a shiny Kabuto. Took an extremely long time and so much pressing A that I sprained my wrist. Yes, it was truly avant-garde. You keep using that word. I do not think it means what you think it means. <laughs> Michael, the Pokemon comedy. <laughs> I haven't seen this, I haven't seen this comparison. The new professor in the new series is just like he's Team Sky. Just not, not dressing green. <laughs> oh, that's hysterical. There it is again. Corbett needs you to find the difference between this picture, this picture. They're the same. <laughs> Got the goggles on the forehead and everything. Only he was wearing green. It is of a Charizard though. Team Sky's used a Charizard. Nobody, YouTuber apology video thumbnails. Except he's just crying. What if it was bipedal? Yes! Been 3,000 years. It has! If only it was stronger. Why do I like such bad Pokemon? <laughs> Some strike a cast for a Ugh. Why water is weak to electric and steel is not. Water is weak to electric because it conducts electricity. Water is weak to electric because water breaks down during electrolysis. <gasps> Interesting. Uh, give me a Mimikyu without the cost of just take this thing away from me. Preach! Sending Lechonk to, oh no. Poor Lechonk. Weak to fighting, weak to fighting, weak to fighting. Game Freak says punch cats. <laughs> the PM7 starter pack, shiny charm, the loser toilet trophy, Geodude, me loving drowsy, forgetting Sandy Gast, and the, the frogs. I don't get the Geodude part, but I get everything else. Why are you laughing? Nothing, my brain, Mikey. <laughs> I couldn't sleep, so I made this. There it is. <laughs> Yep, John tweeted that a little while ago. Corporate needs you to find the difference between this picture and this picture. They're the same picture. Katie did such a good job doing that effect. I was like, can you do the anime glasses effect for this video? Like, I think so. And then she did, and it was great. Oh, a sandstorm mighty. Ooh, rounded goggles. That's fun. Whoa, this is worthless. That Pokemon won him the battle. <laughs> I think he should not badmouth it again. Mikey, Mikey. Mikey, yeah, because John keeps naming Pokemon after me. <laughs> uh, the guy just gets so confused. Nintendo adding Pikachu to the new series? There should be a captain in there somewhere. Ha ha! Ha ha ha! You're no man. But that thing is scarce. Yes, seriously, that floor just was preposterous. Pokemon presents, Mikey. Pikachu animatronic. <laughs> awesome! <laughs> Some little grunty boy fan art. That's fun. You really ruined my whole childhood, you know. Wait, what did Terrapagos do? It's called the John Michael Cup because Mikey's name is Michael and PM7's name is John. It's called the John Michael Cup because both participants' names are John Michael. It's called the John Michael Cup because Mikey's name is John and Michael and PM7's name is Cup. <laughs> Google, Facebook, Microsoft wants my sleep data. Pokemon wants my sleep data. Oh yeah, they can have it. Use Mighty Anna in a Team Sky playthrough of Scarlet and Violet. Make it a flying Terra type so it can be truly of the sky. Mighty Anna isn't in Scarlet and Violet. They should bring back old Pokemon in the DLC. Yeah, I thought about that, but then I'd have to wait until like the fall at the soonest, maybe the winter, depending on which half it's in, if it even is in at all. I looked at the list and I don't remember whether or not it was there. It's just so far in the future. I don't want to wait that long to make the Scarlet Violet Team Sky. So maybe I'll do like another one somehow. Maybe Team Sky does the DLC. <laughs> Ooh, Walking Wake and uh, Iron Leaves fan art. That's pretty sick. Oh my God, I'm in South Park. <laughs> What's what's wrong with cast form though? <laughs> what happened to its goggles and its its hair thing? Corporate needs you to find the difference between this picture and this picture. They're the same picture. Uh, Brennan Lee Mulligan is genuinely a genius. Uh, I'll be like fully transparent. Me getting unhinged in that video was solidly inspired 
by both Brennan Lee Mulligan and Brian David Gilbert. I think they're both incredibly entertaining people. I am envious and have literally practiced Brennan Lee Mulligan's ability to go on fancy sounding comedic monologues at the drop of a hat. Like I want to be as good at that as he is. The idea behind Pokemon Sleep is to be a game that makes you look forward to waking up in the morning. <laughs> oh no. Mikey's shiny luck in one April Fool's video where the shiny luck is one in 8,196 while being full odds. Yep. Yep. MNJTV, man. <laughs> MNJTV, man. Matt. ATV. <laughs> I am fine with this version of the meme. <laughs> Who's scarier? Iron Blade. Iron Leaves, close. Walking Wake, none of them. AI Pikachu, yep. Well, animatronic. That's the end. We, we did it. You guys are so, you guys are so good at this. The slideshow is such a good call. I get to see so many more excellent things that you all have made. I am very grateful for all of you. Thank you so much for watching this video with an extra special thanks to my patrons over on Patreon who are all helping support my channel independent of fluctuating YouTube ad rates. If you wanna help support me in the same way, links in the description below. And if you wanna check out some more of my fun Pokemon content, I recommend these videos here. But that is all I have for now. So until next time, big fans, gotta catch them all.